Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Happy Friday. It is a cloudy, wet, rainy day here in New York City. So I'm hoping that if you hear some raindrops in the background, it's more soothing than irritating or annoying. Um, and of course, the sirens will probably come out and make their appearance because there's always sirens in the background when I'm filming and hopefully it's not too disruptive. But thanks so much for coming back to my channel. If, you've, if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and just join the handbag fan club. Um, but I have two APC bags in front of me and I'll do somewhat of an unboxing. I ordered two different APC crossbody bags for my sister's birthday. Her birthday is tomorrow so that's why I'm doing this filming now because she will be receiving one of these bags. She um, She's not really She's never really been into luxury brands. Uh, when she sees my bags, she doesn't really take an interest. But I know she likes good quality items. And APC is a really nice French brand. Uh, I believe most, if not all, of their bags are uh, made in France. Um, some made in Italy. But anyhow, the quality is supposed to be quite good. And the price point is pretty decent. Um, they range in the hundreds versus the thousands. And so here we go. Let me quickly just unbox. Um, you'll see they're both in the same color. I ordered them in the sort of caramel brown color, which I thought would be really nice for the fall. So let me open the first one. And I would really love your help, guys, in helping me choose which one I should actually gift to her because the other one will be returned. Oh my gosh. Hold on. This is brand new, just out of the box. It came from matchesfashion.com. I've actually never ordered from there before, but I've heard great things and they do nice promos and I got um, a small discount on this bag. They came, it came in this really pretty box, which I thought was nice. Very nicely wrapped in tissue paper. It says matchesfashion.com. However, I didn't see much cushioning, you know, not a lot of wrap. And the first thing I notice here on this bag is there is a, there's an indent. There's an indent right there, which in my mind is really unacceptable, especially for a gift. Maybe it was for myself, then I might consider keeping it if I love the bag enough, but for a gift, I would want to give one that's in absolute perfect condition and this is the front of the bag it's not even the bottom or the side okay so my concern that it wasn't really wrapped in any type of uh, cushion I guess was a legitimate concern because there is that indent okay but otherwise I know my sister really liked the half moon design this is the mini size. As you can see, it's pretty small. I do have my phone case somewhere. Where's my phone case? I had it just a minute ago. Okay, here it is. This is the iPhone 7 Plus phone case, and you can just see in relation to the bag. This is a pretty mini sized bag. So let's ignore the indentation for a minute. And open this up so I can see if the zipper is smooth. I think it is smooth. I just think it's getting snagged on the tissue paper. Okay, guys. I think I am a bit picky with my bags, but this is not going to work. No matter how pretty the design is, do you see how tight and narrow that opening is? I haven't even undone the, the strap. Okay, let me see. Let me see if I can get in there because I wanted to see how the phone fit. I think my sister has either the same size phone or something slightly larger. And I wanted to make sure that it would be a practical size bag. So there's one tissue paper and I've just literally scraped my hands, my hand against the zipper and it's some, sh there's some chafing going on here. Oh my gosh, that really hurts. <sighs> okay. All right, so there's the bag. Okay, so it looks like it's dark brown canvas interior, which I think makes matters worse, in my opinion, because if it's a very narrow opening and you can't see well inside, if it's dark, it's even harder to find your belongings when you're in a rush. So 
I think a lighter canvas color would have been more practical. But that's as far as this opening goes, guys. If you were interested in this APC mini half moon bag, I, on first glance here, I would not recommend it. And I have to see what this bag looks like, but I'm already feeling like this is definitely going back with the indent, the small opening. Okay, so here's my phone case. And I would have to basically, this doesn't even have a phone in it yet because I'm filming with my phone. Okay, that's really tight. And what about a wallet and keys? I'd have to slip in and out like this every time and get scratched. Or it wouldn't be me, it would be my sister. My sister has two little boys, two under the age of two. I don't think she needs to be dealing with a bag like this when she's running around with her kids. Okay, so um, because of the indent and this tiny narrow opening and the dark interior and the fact that it's so super snug for my phone, and again, I think my sister might have a bigger phone, which will be a problem. I am already, I'm pretty sure this is going back. So let me see if I can get the tissue paper back in really quickly and then move on to the next bag so I don't bore you with the stuffing here. But as you can see, it's not exactly easy to get stuff in. And what about for the winter if you wanted to put a pair of gloves or something? I just think it would be really difficult. Okay, whew. Really not practical. Beautiful design, but really not practical. And I imagine this is, yep, an adjustable strap. Not removable, but adjustable. Okay. So that's that one. Let me just move everything over. And then this is the second APC bag. I actually ordered this from Farfetch. Also my very first time ordering anything from Farfetch. It came in this cardboard, like that. And I guess it comes from Araldo, Italy directly. So it was in this plastic. And then it it's, that's basically, this is all there was. Oh, but there's bubble wrap. So I'm hoping that provided more protection for the bag and as you can see this one's larger I feel like my sister did say she wanted a small crossbody bag but I do think this is a much more practical size this size reminds me of the maybe it's slightly taller than the Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse which I do think is a classic style let me see So I thought, yes, I thought this one would be an interesting one to consider. So here it has the gold APC logo or stamping. So I guess this leather is prone to indents because it's this really smooth leather. But let me just show you here. Oh, I like this one already. I love compartments, you guys. You know I love compartments. I feel like it helps to organize. So love the fact that it's a lighter interior, much easier to find. It's structured at the bottom so there won't be any sagging. Let's see, oh, yeah, there's a pocket here. And then there's a nice compartment here with a divider. It's actually really pretty and it has almost like an accordion look to it. That's my little boy. He's homesick. Well, both of my kids are homesick today. It's Friday and they didn't go to school. So my little one, my seven-year-old, is nicely gathering the tissue paper to get out of the film shot here. So I, help, I appreciate his help. And then there's a back pocket here also. That's nice. I feel like this is a really practical bag. And again, adjustable strap. Let's see, is it removable? No, but yeah, my sister's fairly tall. She's about maybe five seven, five eight, and um, 
it's good this is adjustable. She can wear it on her shoulder or across body. Now this is called the APC Stephanie bag. I think it's a newer style because it was not available readily on many sites. So I got lucky being able to find this on Farfetch. Um, it's probably not as well known or as popular as the half moon style that I just showed you before. But I actually think this is a better, it's just a better design. It's really clean and neat the smooth leather same color as before but more pockets more room I don't know I think it just looks it looks feminine it looks modern it's very practical and functional I think that's the most thing most important thing excuse me it needs to be functional why have a pretty bag that um, you know that isn't easy to use so I love this the zipper is smooth it's got the gold hardware yeah okay so I'm just going to see size wise hold on here there's a heap of wrap and tissue now so look at this this is the Stephanie which I do like and this is the mini half moon or I think it's called the dune bag so the size difference is quite substantial yeah it's pretty pretty big difference I'm going to ask my son here to bring me my pochette Matisse. Honey, can you get that bag right there? With the gold, yes, thank you. So I think a lot of you guys are familiar with the pochette Matisse, so then you can compare and see. So this is actually full of stuff because I just used it yesterday. Um, yeah, I always say that the Pochette Matisse is a classic size. The Celine Trio large size is also about this size. So, yeah, it's very similar. It's slightly taller, maybe in half an inch taller. And the base has a slightly triangular shape because of the accordion style. But you guys know also I love my Pochette Matisse because of the compartments inside. And this is very similar. I am tempted. To keep this bag for myself <laughs> but no it's the season of giving and I I think this will be the gift for my sister she certainly deserves something nice she's just given birth to her second child she's super mom juggling everything and I know that she has been interested in this brand and she doesn't have a crossbody bag in this color from what I secretly gathered from my brother-in-law recently he told me that she's got a lot of black bags like we all do right don't we all have so many black bags but not one in this color so I think it's a really rich color it reminds me of caramel and I think that while it may scratch over time I think it will actually get richer in character you know when the when the leather, the leather gets a little softer and a little bit more used, I just feel like then there will be different um, tone to it. And I think it will get more beautiful over time. So um, this was a little bit pricier than the smaller bag, but I think it's much worth, much more worth it. You get a better bag for, for your money. Um, yeah, and I do appreciate that Farfetch wrap this in bubble wrap and also this sort of like styrofoamy piece also to protect it and unfortunately with matches fashion I'm going to be a little bit um, hesitant to order anything from them in the future because they didn't wrap this in anything they just had it in the dust bag in that um, that gift box and this again is a bit bothersome so thank you guys so much for watching and for listening to me go on and on about birthday present for my sister but I think I've made my choice it will be this bag most likely but if you have an opinion or a different opinion um, or questions please share in the comments below and again if you haven't subscribed I would love for you to join because I have lots of unboxings coming up I'm actually backed up I have quite a few handbag unboxings to do over the next few weeks and um, I hope that it provides you with some fun eye candy and some helpful information leading up to the holidays. If I don't see you or talk to you again in my next video until after Thanksgiving, I think I will have one more video before Thanksgiving. But just in case, for those of you who are here in the States, have a wonderful, healthy, happy Thanksgiving. Spend time with your loved ones and enjoy. Thanks so much guys. Bye!